Hello fellow Scratchers, I'm Griffpatch. This is going to be a short tile scrolling tutorial today because I'm on my holidays, woohoo! So what are we adding? Crouching and sliding. Cool, so let's get to it. We'll begin by adding support for the down key to begin a crouching action. The best place for this is in the existing handle keys jump costume block. Yeah, it's not jumping, but it is an up and down movement, so we'll rename the custom block to be handle keys jump slash crouch. Okay, we'll separate off the if up block and below, and we put in a new if else block here, checking for the down of controls being greater than zero. If you remember, all our key controls are coded in the control sprite. Now we only want to crouch if we are on the ground, not while falling through the air. So another if checking whether falling is less than two. We are either on the floor or have just been there. Now we simply set player action to the word crouch. This is great as we will now be able to check whether Mario is crouching by looking at the player action anywhere else in the code. For example, to set the costume. Next up, set jump to zero since we are definitely not jumping now. So what about when we have let go of the crouch key? We check for this in the else where the down key is not pressed. If else, and check for player action equal to crouch. If it was, then we'll try setting player action back to the empty value, meaning that Mario is no longer crouching. Finally, in the second else, we are not crouching. So bring back the original jumping scripts. Before we can test this, we need to get Mario's costume to change too. Find the define paint sprite, and you can see we are already doing a similar thing with the player action of the lose life here. We can duplicate that if condition and check instead for a player action of crouch. Then switch the costume to Mario Crouch, ensuring we still follow that with a stop this script. Superb, let's give that a test. Press the down key and there you go, a brilliant little crouch action right away. So can we stop there, are we done? No, I don't think so. Behold, my awesome new crouching sliding mechanic. Whee! Yeah, we can still walk around whilst crouching. Hilarious to watch, but not something we want to keep long term. However, since we can slide now easily around the level, let's make use of this to test another required feature of the crouch. That of being able to slide into smaller gaps. For this, we should make some small changes to the level to create a one block high tunnel, something like this. And now, if I slide towards this new obstacle, we can see that we have yet some work to do here. Although Mario's costume is the correct size to go through the gap, his hitbox is not. Come with me to the Define Fix Collisions in Direction script. This is where we check six points on Mario, the bottom left and right, middle left and right, and top left and right points. We could, when crouching, change the height variable such that Mario was shorter. But if we do that, then Mario's feet will lift off the floor since we are centered around the middle point. For ease then, how about we just stop checking for the top two collision points whilst crouching? That would reduce our hitbox by half in height whilst keeping it positioned on the screen correctly. We'll start by rearranging the order of these fixed collisions at points so that the second values are paired together. There, feet first, then their middle, and then their head. Good. And now, surround the last two checks. These are the top checks of where Mario's head used to be. And surround them with an if. And we'll only check this when Mario is not crouching. Not player action equals crouch. It's testing time, so run the project. We can start by making sure that we are still prevented from walking into this gap when standing up straight. And now crouching, yes, that's really good. Our small size lets us slip through the gap now. Very, very good. So this means we can now get into a position we couldn't before, and that is to be crouching under a block. We then have to consider what will happen if we let go of the crouch key while we are still under this block. Ah, so that's what happens. As soon as we stand up, our hitbox suddenly is in contact with the level and things go a bit crazy, popping us up through the level out of the ceiling above. 
What we really want to do here is prevent us standing up again when there is no room to do so. Come back into the define handle keys jump crouch script. Here is when we handle the crouch key press, and here is where we get back up again by setting the player action to the empty value. We are going to need to do a little bit more work before we allow Mary to stand up, so I think it best we create a new custom block naming it handle get up. We'll switch it around to now use this in place of the set player action. There. Okay, so at this point, Mario will have got up. We should take this opportunity to check whether we are colliding with anything. But remember that checking for collisions will also move Mario out of the collision, so let's keep track of their current position in the Orig Y variable first, so that we can restore it afterwards. Orig Y stands for original Y, so the original position. Set Orig Y to Y. Now we use fixed collisions in direction dx of 0 and dy of 1, as our head is moving upwards. We can then check if we bumped our head, if solid is greater than zero. Right, so if we did bump our head, then this is no good. We need to crouch back down quickly. Set player action back to crouch. And remember to restore our Y position back to Orig Y, so that we stay where we were. Now before this will work, and there is another fix we must make. Come with me up to the define handle keys left right script. Look here. We are setting player action to walk right at the top. This is no good, because this undoes our good work of keeping the crouch action set. This needs to change a little to account for crouching too. Add an if else block right at the top and check if player action equals crouch. The rest of the scripts can be placed into the else below. Nice. Let's run the project and check that out. Okay, this is interesting. Now when I slide underneath, I can no longer get up. But I also continue to slide all the way through and cannot stop. Ha! We need to begin by making Mario slow down when he's crouching. First we'll check whether they are moving at all. If the absolute value, that's abs, abs, of speed x is greater than 0.4, that means the speed is greater than 0.4 or less than minus 0.4. Then we want to slow down by 0.4 towards 0. We could do that with an if else, but let's do it with maths. Change speed x by negative 0.4 multiplied by speed x divided by and then the same abs of speed x. There. Dividing a number by the absolute value of itself will result in either a 1 or a minus 1 if the number was negative. Quite a useful thing to remember. That means speed x will be changed by either minus 0.4 or 0.4 after the multiply, slowing the player down. Next add a make skid smoke for extra effect. Now in the else we can ensure we are now stationary by setting speed x to 0 and setting player frame to 0 too to keep the animations in check. I'm testing this now. Oh yeah, so crouching is now looking much more cool as I slide to a stop and I have particle smoke. Of course, there is then one question remaining. What happens if I slide under? Ah yes, just what I was wondering. As I am crouching and cannot move, and I cannot get up, I am so stuck. Oh no. Yeah, well, we have three options here. We say too bad and lose the player alive. But that would be cruel. We could keep the player sliding like we did previously so they always make it out the other side. That would be okay. But it wouldn't make any of these sliding obstacles a challenge. So the third option, the one we will take, is that we will force the player back out the way they came. Find the define handle get up script. When the player is trying to get up, but their head is colliding, that's here, we will change their speed x by direction, that will be 90 or minus 90 depending on which way they are facing. Then we can divide that by minus 200. I just picked a good value here by trial and error. Negative, so that they move backwards from under the block. Come on then, let's give it a test. 
I'll slide under the first block. Oh yes, did you see that? It was subtle, but Mario definitely slid back out. I'll take a longer run up. Yeah, there you go. You can see it working in all its glory there as we slid right back out. Excellent work. And dare I say it, we are done for this short episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and if so, then please do hit the like button. I'll keep trying to get the tutorials out over the holiday season, so do subscribe to catch them as they become available. Until next time though, thank you for watching, and scratch on guys. <laughs>